Hey everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebook reader blog. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to check out library ebooks using nothing but a Kindle. So, Amazon updated the web browser on Kindles a while back. Um, so, all 10th and 11th gen Kindles have the new updated web browser, including the Kindle Scribe, as shown here. Um, so yeah, it also works on the smaller models, not just the larger ones. So it's entirely possible to borrow library ebooks just using the Kindle, not a different device like you used to have to do. Uh, and thanks to the updated web browser, lets you sign into the libraries now. Uh, I remember some people saying they were able to do this with the old web browser, but I was never able to get it to work. It would always freeze or crash before I could get signed into my library. So you just have to head over to your library. So I'm not gonna be able to help you with a library card, but you can get a library card from your local Local library and there are also some libraries that will offer cars to non-residents for a yearly fee um, I do have a web uh, article on my website about that I'm not sure how up-to-date it is as far as you know libraries that offer that currently but all you have to do is go to your library enter your pin number your library card number sign into the website and you are good to go you can browse your library's selection from here so as you can see at the top of this page it has a section for Kindle books. So if we just click on that, we can browse the Kindle selection. So some libraries, they have, you know, they have the EPUB books and they have the Kindle books. And sometimes not every EPUB is available as a Kindle book. So you do need to like use the sort options to go by Kindle. Um, and then you can scroll down. So like this is the wonkiest thing about this is like scrolling on the Kindle web browsers isn't super smooth, but you know, it's doable. Um, it's just a little bit, you know, jittery, refreshes the plate pages a lot. It's not as smooth as like the web browser on Onyx's ink devices, but you can use the filtering options. Uh, so if you want to just select the available now ones, you, you can also put holds on library books. You can do anything you would normally do like with your phone or tablet, uh, from the website here. But, uh, if we want to just see like what's available now, you can choose the filter for that so let's just go ahead and pick one of these books randomly here show you how the process completes it's really easy so once you get your you know signed in with your library then you can choose any book you want to put on hold or to borrow and just go ahead and select it from here you can also you know read the synopsis they have available here and whatever reviews um, so yeah it's a pretty easy process you just go ahead and select borrow and then you have to you know select how many days um, however many days you want to keep it and then just hit the borrow button then you hit the read on Kindle link here so then once you do that it'll redirect to Amazon's website you just have to sign in on the web browser right here then you just uh, confirm it on Amazon's website and then there you go you exit the web browser and there's your library book ready to download and read so very easy process uh, you don't have to use a phone or tablet or the Libby app like you used to have to do uh, you can just do everything from the Kindle itself now. I like using the two-column mode on the Kindle Scribe. It lays out nicely. Um, so here's an interesting side effect of this. If you also have Kobo e-readers, uh, when you select a Kindle ebook, it'll automatically, uh, if you're using the same library on your Kobo devices, it'll automatically sync the library book to your Kobo devices as well. So it'll be available to download on them. This is the Kobo Libra Color. Just posted a review of this if you wanted to check that out. But so that's kind of a cool side effect if you have Kindles and Kobos. If you check out a Kindle book, it'll show up on your Kobos as well. I don't even have this Kobo signed into Overdrive, but one of my other Kobos is, and then it syncs them. So uh, it's kind of a cool side effect of the Overdrive process on Kindles and Kobos. Kobo always advertises the fact that they have Overdrive built in. You can download eBooks directly to the device, but uh, you can actually do that on Kindles now as well. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the eBook Reader blog and the eBook Reader YouTube channel if you like this. Thanks.